Hi everybody, I'm Jim, the Hippie Redneck Geek. Uh, this is uh, the beginning of where this all started here. Uh, I'm going to go through a little bit about uh, um, how we ended up here, um, me building all these things here. And uh, so um, this is a picture of the house. Uh, this is seven or eight years ago, I guess. Uh, 2013, 2014, something like that. Um, but uh, before this year, there was another house here. And uh, we had uh, a fire on the 4th of July, 2011. Um, yeah, there was my phone. And it looks like I probably should not have picked a shirt with green in it. Uh, I got too, way too much green in it, so the background showing up on me. Oh, well. Live and learn. Um, so... Um, the um, there was a shed right here, uh, and several other trees here that are no longer here. Uh, this uh, this shed was a 16 by 24, two story shed. Uh, it had storage and most of everything upstairs in it was uh, storage. Uh, it was um, had uh, woodworking stuff uh, down on the lower part and uh, mechanics tools it had uh, uh, all kinds of stuff in there it had oil and transmission fluid and paint and propane tanks so whenever lightning hit the tree hit the, hit the shed and the shed went up and, and flames it got very hot in there and uh, so basically what I'm gonna do is go through some of the pictures here of the fire and the damage, uh, show what was going on, uh, what happened. And so this is the beginning of um, uh, where I started taking pictures of projects and everything of what was going on. Actually, I had a few other projects that I had before this that I took pictures of, but very few pictures of it. So this is going to be a bit about um, the projects that I've gone through uh, here. Um, in uh, transforming the uh, the homestead um, and uh, bringing this house in here in place. This house was actually moved here uh, from 50 miles away. It was uh, brought in. So the next video will be about moving this house into here. Um, so uh, we'll just go forward here and talk about uh, the, um, uh, the, the fire and uh, go through some pictures here about the fire. So this is um, from uh, the um, the fire. This is a uh, this is um, oh probably half hour to an hour after the fire happened. We were lucky. We had a neighbor down the road who happened to see the smoke and everything coming up and came driving down the road here in pouring rain and lightning and stuff. Came down and knocked on our door and told us that our shed was a fire. We didn't know it was on fire. Uh, we'd had power. Power went out from lightning strikes. Literally, lightning. We we heard the lightning. It was like three times in a row, just within five minutes of lightning right there at the house. So apparently, it had hit one of the trees a couple of times, maybe two or three times, and hit the uh, the shed, and caught it on fire. And uh, so, this is this is after we'd gotten. Uh, you know, the fire department was called. We got a course. We're lucky. We're like five minutes from the fire department, uh, but it still took them about ten or ten or fifteen minutes to get here. Um, and uh, so this is them putting out. This is the um, um, this right here. This is where the shed. This is the shed here, uh, or was what what used to be the shed right here. Um, there is a huge, actually this part of it here, there's a little shed right here, um, but this is uh, all, this here is all burning here. Um, so we're going to go through here, some pictures here. Um, let's see if I can find the right keys here, right, right key to make things work here. Uh, I'll figure this out here. Um, Oh, we're gonna find the image slideshow. There we go. Okay, now that I've got the the uh, show, the, the it's showing up here. So this is another, just another picture here from a different angle here. Um, they've been 
putting on work on this fire here probably 15 20 minutes at least maybe half hour i don't remember uh this was 10 years ago or so um but i do remember it they they, they spent a lot of time um the fire uh so this is uh the a little bit further on down, a little bit later here, as you can see right here, you got some of the guys here still they're sitting over here. These guys here, you can see they had another hose here. These guys that, that went into the house, they went down into the house, the front doors right here, and they went through the house and all the way down this end here. And uh, they were taking, fighting the fire in the house here and up through the, uh, the ceiling and everything. And uh, so they got their part done, put out, and everything. While these guys are still putting out the fire here at the shed, um, so this is uh, some pictures of the uh, attic. Well, the attic uh, ceiling where they uh, they w went through because uh, they were trying to get the fire out up in here, up in the, uh, the ceiling, uh, to where, where uh, the fire can come up there. They saw smoke, so they're going through. Uh, Everywhere they saw smoke and were pouring water into it. Um, this is one of the other rooms here. Uh, these are the two rooms that were the end of the house there, right there where the uh, the shed was at. Um, this is uh, some more of the, the one room. Uh, and this is the hallway here. Um, they uh, came in. Uh, when they came in here, all these doors here were all shut. There's three bedrooms here and a bathroom. And all these doors were shut here because we weren't used in these rooms at all. Uh, it was just the wife and I living here at the time. It was a four bedroom here. It had three bedrooms in this end, and one bedroom, and the master bedroom was the other end of the house. And we weren't using this at all. So we just closed closed everything off and just kept the, uh, um, uh, so we keep our heat and cooling to a minimum. And uh, so all they saw when they come in here was smoke and they couldn't see the hallway. They just throwing it uh, Runner throwing uh, water down here. They just uh, had the fire hoses coming through here and uh, water just blasting the hallway. They couldn't see anything until they get through here and open up the doors and they can check each of the rooms. Um, so, so this was uh, this used to be our daughter's room. One of our daughters, uh, Zilla, uh, and she had just moved out probably not uh, not six months before this. Whenever all this sure happened. And, this was her room, and uh, you can see all the trash and everything came out of the ceiling whenever they uh, knocked the ceiling down. And just everything in here is just soaked. Um, the, that bed was soaked. It was just destroyed. Uh, the water, uh, just so much water in there. Um, and this here was the other room at the other end of the house here. And this had all kinds of uh, stuff in it, gold computers. Uh, you see an old painting here, a couple of paintings in here, and stuff like there, and uh, various other stuff. In fact, I had uh, I had probably um, a couple thousand rounds of ammo over in the closets over here. Uh, uh, um, uh, a couple of rounds of ammo uh, they brought it was over a closet over here in this side of the room. Here is a closet, and uh, there was probably a couple thousand rounds of ammo in there, and. Uh, so we were lucky it didn't get in there and the ammo started going off. Uh, so this is a, another look down the hall here. Um, you just have the floor is just soaked. It's just, I mean, there was, when, when we came in here, there was just water standing in the floor. Uh, there's water damage all the way up the wall here. Um, and it, uh, there's just water everywhere. Um, so this is the uh, this is what was left of the shed. We did get the, I mean, the floor. Most of the floor was still there because they got it out before it got down to to, to burn it up the floor. But just about everything else, all the walls and everything were were pretty much burnt and everything. There's a couple of timber still left from uh, some, from the walls, but the vast majority of everything was burnt down to the base of this here and uh, um, and all kinds of parts. You know, this is a. a, a parts for my truck that time had a dually um, and those were uh, parts for it I had motorcycle parts in here uh, all my woodworking stuff in here tools and stuff and bicycles and like I said I had storage up above this year in the second floor of this year in the loft of it and it's just 
it just, I mean, everything for the two floors, 16 by 24, is just now all piled in a mess down here. So the stuff that didn't burn just came, fell down from the, uh, from the, from the upstairs part of this here just fell down into the lower part of it here. Um, there's bicycle parts here. These were some old, uh, uh, wire racks, uh, that, uh, that I had accumulated from, um, from somewhere. I can't remember where I ever accumulated them, but I was going to use those for, uh, um, uh, for something. I don't remember what I was going to use them for, but I had them. Uh, needless to say, they got, uh, warped and along with whenever they cleaned all the shirt up, I, it was all gone. I uh, didn't go through any of this stuff and try to save anything, so. I wish I still had those. Those have been nice to have for uh, various things I have around here that I would love to have those for. Um, there's an old motorcycle here that I uh, that was uh, just setting off over the side there. It was it destroyed. This here got destroyed in Katrina. Uh, it was my sister's bike. And I, I had it over the house here. I was going to work on it and uh, all the parts were and everything were in the shed here. There's an old wheelbarrow here that's a little bit of it left. Uh, got all kinds of pictures of all kinds of stuff around here. Uh, motorcycle fender. Um, sorry, uh, um, just everything. I have no idea what was in there. I'm just probably I, I probably had paperwork in there, old stuff, the old computer uh, manuals and stuff like that um, uh, in there in that family cabinet. In fact, I do remember that's what I had, is old computer manuals, old uh, software books, and uh, uh, all kinds of stuff in there, in, in that storage there. Um, just uh, all kinds of stuff destroyed here. Uh, just lost a lot of stuff here. Probably, I, wait, I, I don't know, I'd probably say ten or $12,000 worth of, of uh, parts and tools and God only knows what else. Uh, I had two bicycles. I had just bought uh, my, just bought the wife and I uh, two mountain bikes probably two or three months before this year, and they were in this shed here at the time. Um, hers was a full aluminum frame. We didn't find any parts of the bike except for the the wheel rims and uh, the sprocket and a couple of uh, a couple of pieces that were metal that uh, didn't uh, uh, didn't uh, melt or evaporate. Because it got very hot. Like I said, I had some propane tanks and fire, uh, some oil and transmission fluid, paint, stuff like that. So it really got hot in there. Um, so this is what we look. We were starting to start as we're starting to clean up. We're taking, trying to pull stuff out of here. This is we're taking, trying to get stuff over here, get ready to. Uh, they were bringing in a dumpster. We were starting to take, pull this, throwing stuff in the dumpster. Uh, this is the. Uh, house here and uh, you see that it uh, it did take catch it on fire here sort of uh, the roof here so it was, this roof was damaged probably way back into, into here uh, and uh, it was just uh, it had uh, the vinyl siding just just melted the vinyl siding right off of it uh, and, uh, and there we go this so we had uh, this is where the electrical box was at right here. So there was, there was the electrical box coming in here, and uh, that was where it was coming in. So it basically, uh, all of our power was shot right there. Uh, we had no, no no more power to the house, um, and uh, so it was uh, it was destroyed. There was so much water damage from the uh, from the fire fires going through the house and everything that they ended up riding the house off here completely. Um, and uh, then we'll go back. We're back to the beginning here again, and uh, go back here to look at the uh, house uh, a couple of years later. So this is the beginning uh, of the journey here. That's going to be uh, the channel. Uh, I will go through uh, some videos. The next video will be um, the work they did on moving this house in here. Uh, this house, 
uh, was moved uh, from from 50 miles away, as I said earlier. Uh, they brought this house in here, big foundation and everything. And uh, so the next video will be uh, about that. Um, and uh, so I hope you uh, stick around and uh, watch the next video. So click subscribe, click the notification bell so you get uh, notified for the next video. And uh, we'll see you around. This is I'm Jim, the hippie, the, the hippie redneck geek, and uh, I'll um, hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you.